peace. This is Mr. O, the hip hop teacher, aka Kamal Imani. You are about to listen to my audio book, No Cap. You can create your own virtual reality. What I mean by virtual is not that you get on a machine and start, you know, creating things like that. What I mean is virtually, literally, you can visualize your vision. You can visualize your future. You can visualize your goals, your dreams, your objectives, and make them come to reality by doing the right thing, by walking on a straight path, by challenging yourself, by coming out of your comfort zone. When you fall down, you get back up by being resilient, by being diligent, and keeping a positive attitude. The things that you have in your mind, your goals, dreams, and visions will become a virtual reality. Let us proceed. Chapter 2. Real Gangsters Move in Silence Nowadays, most Americans love to dress casually, and I myself love hip-hop attire, but I have learned that when you dress to impress, you look good and you shine. Opposites attract. So if you are suited up while most people are casual, you tend to look important and intelligent. Many of today's hip-hop youth like to have a certain type of gangster look, which may be cool for the streets, but back in the day, you might not be able to tell a gangster from a lawyer or a Wall Street broker because they camouflage their business dealings by wearing a suit. Now, I'm definitely not telling you to do crime, but I am telling you that when you have a plan and need doors to open and people to be receptive to you, dress to impress, you will be surprised. I have sadly seen people go to places like court and job interviews in very casual clothing, and it's not a good look. People do judge you on appearances, and if you want to make money, look like money, and look like the leader that you are. Chapter 3. Have class. I'm so thankful that my family members taught me to have good manners. People are surprised when you smile, make eye contact, say yes sir and yes ma'am, and address people in authority by their proper titles, and just give respect. You should always treat people the way that you want to be treated. We live in a small world, meaning that you might run into people again in the future or need them. You may need a job, a reference, a letter of recommendation, a witness, some support, etc. Your network is your net worth. Your network is your net worth. When you have a network of great people around you, you can call on people for anything that you can think of, and someone will be willing and able to help you. You will never have to go it totally alone without a support system. You will find once you are nice to people that you will develop friendships in all walks of life. So, do the right thing all of the time. We all make mistakes, but don't hurt other people and trespass on their world. Don't steal from them talk behind their backs, start beefs. You need to have so much focus on your personal goals and dreams that you don't even have time for drama or negativity. To be successful in this world, you will need your full mind. You need to be positive and alert. That's your practice, positivity. I know, it may sound corny, but when you think positive, you go up. And when you think negative, you go down. You are royalty. You are here for a reason. Carry yourself like you are the successful person that you were born to be. And the world will have no choice but to admire you and open doors for you. Because you have class. Chapter 4. The Importance of Listening and Concentrating. Listening is half. Of communicating. Listening is half of communication. When I went to college, I learned that I could concentrate on the professor's lecture so well that I didn't have to take too many notes. 
when a surprise quiz was given, etc., I would do well, simply by remembering what he and other students would say in class discussions. I also learned to study to the point that I knew the subject matter backwards and forwards by using several different tools, such as flashcards, books, internet, videos, etc. And when someone is speaking, you should practice making eye contact and focusing as if they are the only person that is important at that time. I'm sure if you were speaking, you wouldn't want the other person looking down, around, on their phone, etc., right? This is the kind of focus that creates a great conversation, and you will probably retain a lot of information. Nonverbal communication is said to be about 75% of communication. That means your eye contact, posture, facial expressions, and body movement, etc. You want to stimulate an audience when you speak, and you shouldn't be slumped over, have your head down, or not paying attention when someone else speaks. I think it's funny that sometimes I just listen, and the speaker will say, or will finish and say, what a great conversation. It was nice speaking with you. I chuckle inside because I didn't get a word in, but they were glad to share what was on their mind. And I'm cool with that. Side note, I've had numerous students blame the teacher or the school for their lack of education. Please know that you can always invest an extra hour or more in research books online and offline on your own. I see the teacher as a guide, but you can always go ahead and teach yourself as much as you can. When you develop a thirst for learning, you will love it. A wise minister once said, when you open up a book, you have wings. You can fly. You can use your imagination to travel to places you haven't been to. Meet new people and learn new things. It's all about what you imagine, what your goals are, and determination and consistent action. It's all about what you imagine, what your goals are, your determination and consistent action. The nature of man in today's society. Even though women are independent and girls have songs like Girls Are Players Too, it is in a man's nature to protect and provide for a woman, even if she has her own money. The man should be prepared to support, pay bills, pay child support, and take care of his children by being in their lives and providing money. A man should not portray himself as a baller, a boss, and floss in the neighborhood and on social media if his family obligations are not met. And on that note, he should be careful not to impregnate a woman if he and her are not emotionally and financially prepared. If it has happened, man up and take care of your responsibilities. It's better to say you have a wife, a son, or a daughter and that you are a proud father than a player or a bum. Let me say that again. It's better to say you have a wife, a son or a daughter, and that you are a proud father than a player or a bum. Whenever I became unemployed, I looked for 10 jobs a day until I am called. I do not sit around the house chilling like I'm on vacation. I'm usually called within 24 hours. You have to hustle, legal hustle. You must be determined. Love is responsibility, and the best feeling I've had in my life is looking at myself doing my best to take care of my wife and son and saying to myself, wow, I'm a man now. I have my own family. There is some pain, some sacrifice, some unexpected experiences, but the love and emotional reward is indescribable. We must respect, protect, and elevate our women and children at all costs. The family is the foundation of the community. Then we build a nation, and it all starts with the man taking care of his responsibilities. So if your partner makes more money, you can still see where you can help. Sometimes watching your child, taking him or her to the doctor, dentist, school, playground, and helping them with homework, etc., is a big help. Helping to cook and clean the house is okay. 
You are partners, and the family is a team. You must respectfully talk to and with each other and work and plan as a team. Life has its ups and downs, and so do finances at times and relationships. So while things are going up and down and getting hot and cold, it is your job to maintain your composure. It is your job to maintain your composure. Keep the channels of communication alive. Don't shut down. Talk. Text. Write. But don't shut down. And you will get through any obstacle if you are both determined to succeed. Also, keep your credit excellent. Be careful. It's tricky. Pay your bills on time to keep a good credit rating. Also, keep an emergency fund. Save 10% of your money and invest in land, real estate. Look into cryptocurrency, gold, and natural resources, as well as technology. Chapter 6. Stop hating on your brother or sister. Love for your brother what you love for yourself. Don't you know that we are all related? You may say, I ain't related to him or her. I've heard it before. He's not my brother. By being a human being, he is your brother. By race, he is your brother. By DNA, he is your brother. By culture and environment, he is your brother. By a collective history, he is your brother. She is your sister. When you start communicating and asking questions, you will find that we may come from the same Native American or African tribe. We may come from the same Caribbean islands. We may come from the same neighborhoods. We definitely come from the same history and struggle. So consider him your brother and work together. As you come into the international world of business, politics, and race, which is highly competitive, you will find that many interest groups, cultures, and races stick together. This is why they are successful as a group or a collective. When we try to make it as individuals without helping each other, it's much harder, and only a few make it at a time, instead of everyone benefiting. You don't have to like him or her, but respect him or her. And if there's an opportunity for you to support, and you can, then support your brother or sister, and we will all succeed in the end. Chapter 7. The goal is community control. Quote, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never has, and it never will. Frederick Douglass, unquote. We must repair our communities. I have traveled and taught in beautiful Korean, Indian, Jewish, Arab, and Latino communities in the United States, and they either control or dominate banks, schools, supermarkets, businesses, and don't have to go outside of their communities for almost anything. There is a high level and feeling of safety as well. I want our communities to look and feel like that, but most of us are waiting on someone else to do it. You and I are the leaders, and you are the future leaders. Get involved with the PTA, Parent Teachers Association meetings, the town council, and other organizations, and make your neighborhood a better place. Get involved in a political party, or create a party, or interest group where you demand from politicians what you want and need for your tax dollar. Run for office or support someone who you agree with. We need leaders, and you have leadership within you. Lastly, remember that law and order is of the highest importance. You must follow the laws, especially the laws of God, nature, karma, which are cause and effect. If you do bad, what do you think will happen sooner or later? So do good. Promote good. Tell your friends and family to do the right thing. You can't force them, but as long as you know that you did your job, 
then your character is being built and your leadership shines. Life is about self-improvement, balance, and the pursuit of happiness. We must also reach out to international friends all over the world, the African diaspora, which is Africa, the West Indies, Brazil, Cuba, South America, wherever black and or indigenous people are and anywhere else or anyone else who is truly our friend. We must be open to do business with all kinds of people as well as politicians. We must be able to deal with politics with all kinds of people. We must always expand and strengthen our personal and collective network. In conclusion, due to the societal situations that we find ourselves in, we have developed a culture of individualism, meaning every man for himself. We are more prone to compete with each other and help each other to be successful. By doing this, we are isolating ourselves into a corner. It is painful when you or I are isolated. You have less protection and less support as you lack family and extended family. We must individually check ourselves before we wreck ourselves and collectively be about the business of entrepreneurship, community control, and political empowerment. We must not give our votes away to any one party without promises from that party or from that politician. We must demand respect, but that only comes from self-respect. And guess what? The world is yours if you want it. Your generation are the leaders of the new school, if you choose to be. Nothing can stop you. You're all the way up. Peace and success from Mr. O, a.k.a. Kamal Lamani. Subscribe on YouTube at The Hip Hop Teacher. Peace, success, keep rising to the top. One love, one God, one aim, one destiny, unity. Peace.